Well here we are, this is the trio, this is the three hydrogen generators which are linked up together and I'm going to start it up in a minute and just so you'll notice the, the terminals on top of the hydrogen generators they're marked red and black to make it easy to wire also with them you get all the connections that you need in order to do the installation pretty straightforward including the universal T um, some bungee cords to tie them in underneath your hood and um, also the check valves on these, on this particular unit, they are medical quality check valves. They're designed to carry oxygen um, and that eliminates any chance of any flashback from the engine. So I'm going to plug these in now, so watch closely and you're going to see them energize. Now if you see there, you can see there's a thin strand and a thick strand inside each generator. On the thick strand you have oxygen, pure oxygen, oxygen bubbles coming off and on the thin strand you have hydrogen bubbles coming off. Now something you should know on some units, on some cars, you're going to need to also install a MAP, MAP sensor enhancer. What you'll find that happens is immediately when you start using these your gas mileage goes through the roof and it really makes a difference. Um, on my old Astro van, for instance, um, it was about 15 and a half miles to the gallon, and right now, actually, I'm up to almost 24 miles to the gallon. Um, and the engine's just running like a dream, much smoother than it, than it did before, and that van has almost 190,000 miles on it. You can see these percolating away very well here. The amp draw is minimal. Um, right now we're only pulling about five and a half amps, um, which is fine for any system on your car. Um, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Bear in mind I'm more of an engineering guy than I am a photography guy, so let's turn this down for you. But you can see all three units are producing extremely well. There's an awful lot of gas coming out of the end. Um, and basically plug it into your system and start going. All you have to add is distilled water and also a flat teaspoonful of baking soda into each cell. Uh, you need to top off the water maybe once, once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Sometimes depending on the quality of the distilled water you use, um, you may have to give the jars a rinse out. But these jars are very solid. Um, I've dropped a couple of them from four and five feet onto concrete and they don't break. Um, anyway, so there it is. It's working away well and uh, as I say, I have it underneath the hood of my truck and it, and you know, I just pretty much forget about it and it just runs along nicely. But just bear in mind that you may have to invest another 50 or 60 bucks um, if you find that you suddenly lose your miles per gallon gains. If that happens, you need to buy a uh, map, map sensor and um, there's like a gazillion people selling them on eBay right now. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.